Former congressional candidate Eric Odlin, who claimed the 2020 election was rigged, is now running to lead the Colorado Republican Party. He says he wants to end mail-in voting and keep unaffiliated voters out of Republican primaries. Odlin lost his race in the 7th Congressional District in Jeffco area by a 15 point landslide. He made those election rigging claims in an early campaign again, event, then tried to walk them back in a debate here. The 2020 election, it was rigged. Absolutely rigged. If you do enough looking into it, I think you'll be convinced. You additionally said that well, the election had been undermined by fraud, corrupted, and we now have an illegitimate government in power. You believe that we have an illegitimate government in power. I've, I've nuanced my perspective and my, what my statements, recognizing the divisiveness of that language. So I've evolved. I'm not a politician. I started that, that speech I gave was the first speech I gave in the U.S. Senate race. We, we tried and failed that day to get an answer from Odlin on whether he still believes the election was quote unquote absolutely rigged or if he just knows that he should not say that aloud anymore. Odlin's campaign announcement says that he is dedicated to, among other things, quote, getting rid of the current voting machines. Odlin's decision to run for state GOP chair also makes remarks a change of heart on this issue. His spokeswoman told us back in December that he was not going to run. A couple of other candidates have already lined up to try and lead the Colorado GOP after its worst election losses in decades. There's Casper Stockham, who has lost three bids for Congress and who blamed Antifa for the January 6th insurrection at the Capitol. And there's conservative activist Aaron Wood, best known for protesting drag shows around town and organizing this protest in a boot barn parking lot where the GOP's current leaders were insulted as whores.